Hey guys, well in our first video of the new year, we're gonna be checking out this new ASRock TRX40 Creator. Now this particular chipset is clearly marked out for the type of user that really needs to go beyond what we find on the mainstream platforms with those basic features. As such, designers, creators are gonna be able to maximize their workflow by laying hold on some interesting features, some of which still need a bit of time to mature. Those features include triple PCI Express M.2 Gen 4, USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2, 10 gigabit ethernet, as well as Wi-Fi 6 or what is otherwise known as 802.11ax. Now this is the high-end desktop platform and so this board here comes in at 449 US, 440 UK and then 800 Australian. And of the TRX40s, this is actually at the lower end of the market and so it's reasonably priced really when you look at the realm of the high-end desktop platform. However, with such a price tag, we do expect to be getting a lot of good features and you know, a really good foundation for Threadripper Gen 3. And so with that intro out of the way, let's now do a quick unboxing on this board and check it out. Before we begin, today's video is brought to you by ASRock's X299 Tai Chi CLX. Not only does Tai Chi look great with its unique design, but it takes advantage of a handful of features which include USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 Type-C, which can deliver up to 20 gig a second for fast data transfer. Wi-Fi 6 is also available, which nudges up that bandwidth beyond that of 802.11ac and is ready for next-gen Wi-Fi devices. And so if you're looking to move to Intel's high-end desktop platform and the new Core X series, this one is worth a look. And for more details, check out that link in the description. Here is the box that Creator arrives in. You'll have seen this in the introduction. Fairly standard, we've got the headline features on the back there and then we've got that carry handle at the top. And inside the box we have the accessories first of all, the board is actually underneath in the anti-static bag. So included with the board we get uh, this documentation here, we've got the setup guide and then the installation guide. The disc is on the inside there. We have the antenna, we of course have 802.11ax, so that's uh, going to hook up to the rear I.O. panel. Fixed SLI bridge, we have a bunch of screws there, that is for the SSDs. Four SATA cables for your storage. And then finally we've got that rear I.O. shield. Okay, so here is Creator. This board takes on more of a neutral type of theme, which is going to be more suited than those in the design field, and as such it skips out on the RGB lighting. The board itself is predominantly gunmetal and black, which should be easy to marry up with other kit. And in terms of the size, this board here conforms to the ATX form factor, and so it's going to fit inside most mid towers. Now this board uses the TRX40 chipset, and so we have the AMD STRX4 socket, which is designed there for the third generation Threadripper CPUs. And so the mounting or the installation process is the same as previous generations in that the CPU is loaded in using the tray system. And across our creator there are a total of 5 fan headers and 4 RGB headers, two of which are addressable. And behind the socket there are two 8-pin CPU connectors, which is definitely a sign that this platform is thirsty for power. So this model here delivers an 8-phase design which is digital. You have two heat sinks to cover this area and those are both interconnected. Now some boards on this platform opt for passive cooling, but this one as you can see uses a cooling fan which will unfortunately add in some additional noise. ASRock has equipped Creator with their super alloy components such as 90 amp chokes, 50 amp DRMOS, Nichicon 12K black caps and an 8 layer PCB. Next we have the memory which requires quad channel DDR4 on both sides of the socket and with this configuration we can go all the way up to 256 gig and 4666 megahertz frequency and close to the memory we have those two header connectors there is support there for USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C and USB 3.2 Gen 1 so that should give there plenty of flexibility for new and older cases. Storage is definitely something ASRock has not held back on with up to 8 SATA 3 ports for those SATA based drives. Immediately next to that stack there is the auxiliary PCI Express for supplying that extra juice for the GPU. And along with that SATA storage we also get those 3 PCI Express Gen 4 M.2 slots for that new tech. Each of those have the full heatsink coverage, you just need to remove the screws to attach the drive. 
Behind these SATA ports, we have a large heatsink which sits over the TRX40 chipset. That also utilizes active cooling with that fan. That chipset brings in a whole host of new tech, which includes PCI Express 4 up to 72 lanes and up to 8 USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. In that bottom corner there, we've got some additional features to take advantage of, which, while not essential, are handy to have. We get the LED debug for diagnostics, onboard power and reset buttons, and another header there, which is USB 3.2 Gen 1. We are, of course, dealing with PCI Express 4 on this board, and ASRock has given Creator a total of four PCI Express X16s, and so there are none of the smaller X1s on here. The modes for each of those are 16, 8, 16, and 8 again. We get AMD Crossfire support, as well as NVIDIA NVLink and SLI. And those PCI Express have been given the steel reinforcement, which is now a standard inclusion. Shifting over to the audio, which is right next to that PCI Express. Our board here uses the Realtek ALC1220 codec and ALC4050H. This is all wrapped up as Purity 4. We've tested it out and it delivers great audio performance for an onboard solution. And finally, we've got the rear I.O. section of Creator. Unfortunately, we don't have a pre-attached rear I.O. shield here, which is kind of unusual. But in terms of the included ports, we get BIOS flashback, PS2 keyboard mouse combo port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1, antenna ports, clear CMOS, the audio ports, 2.5 gig LAN port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1, 10 gig LAN port that is driven by a Quantia, two USB 3.2 Gen 2, and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 X2 Type C. And so we would have liked to see more USB 3.2 Gen 2 on the back here, as this is the type of feature that designers and creators are going to use. You'll notice the allocation there for the Wi Fi on Creator. This board here uses 802.11ax otherwise known as Wi-Fi 6. The module is supplied in the bundle, and that also brings in Bluetooth 5, which some of you may find useful. All right, well, that is our look at the ASRock TRX40 Creator Complete. If you're considering a move over to this new platform, then you're ultimately going to be the type of user that really needs that extra horsepower and needs the newer and faster features that come hand in hand with TRX40. Threadripper isn't for everyone, and that is quite obvious from the price tag. And so, you know, this whole platform really targets a specific group. But as it stands, uh, this model here from ASRock is a great choice if you're looking at the lower end of the list of TRX40 boards. Creator comes in at the, the lower end, cheaper uh, than most of them, around 450 US, 440 UK, and 800 Australian. Now, if VRM and chipset cooling is something you'd like to keep an eye on, here are the results that we got. So far in our TRX40 reviews, we only have the MSI Creator to compare against, but that just highlights the, how much better ASRock's version is. Third gen Threadripper doesn't have a great deal of headroom to play with in terms of the overclocking, but with Creator we managed to get all 24 cores on the 3960X to sit at 4.2 with just 1.15 volts. And we'll be keeping an eye on the overclocking across all boards that we get in for review just to see how proficient that ASRock board is. We hope you enjoyed today's video guys, the web review for this particular board is going to be on screen in the description. You know, the full set of benchmarks and more detail will be over there. And out of interest, I'm actually wondering how many of you guys are there use the high-end desktop platform or plan to make a, you know, move over to it. So cast your vote in the top right corner and let me know if this platform is for you. A happy new year to all of you out there. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more content just like this. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.